Conquering Relative Clauses, An Adventure into Subject and Object Pronouns. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're setting sail on an exciting journey into the heart of English grammar, relative clauses. Specifically, we'll be delving into the realm of subject and object pronouns. This knowledge will be your compass to navigate complex sentences and improve your English fluency. So, without any further ado, let's dive right in. Before we embark on our adventure into subject and object pronouns, let's take a moment to remind ourselves of what relative clauses are. Relative clauses are types of dependent clauses that provide additional information about a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun. They are typically introduced by relative pronouns, such as who, whom, which, that, and whose. They play a significant role in making your sentences more informative and engaging. Now, let's meet our first guide on this expedition, the subject pronouns. These heroes do an important job. They tell us who or what the sentence is about. In the context of relative clauses, these are words like who, which, and that when they refer to the subject of the clause. For example, one, the woman who lives next door is a doctor. Who is referring to the woman, the subject of the clause. Two, the book that I am reading is very interesting. That is referring to the book, the subject of the clause. Next up, let's meet our second guide, the object pronouns. They're the ones being acted upon in the sentence. In the realm of relative clauses, these are pronouns like whom, which, and sometimes that, when they refer to the object of the clause. Let's see them in action. 1. The man whom I met yesterday is my teacher. Whom is referring to the man, the object of the verb, met. 2. The movie that I watched was fantastic. That is referring to the movie, the object of the verb, watched. Note that in informal English, especially in speaking, who is often used instead of whom. Additionally, that or the relative pronoun itself can often be omitted when it's the object of the clause. And that's a wrap on our adventure today. We've navigated the waters of subject and object pronouns in relative clauses, learned their importance, and seen them in action. Remember, mastering these will help make your English more fluent and expressive. Keep practicing these concepts, and soon you'll be wielding these pronouns like a pro. Remember, the path to language proficiency is a journey, not a sprint. So, take your time and enjoy the process. Till our next adventure, happy learning!